In this video you will see the most amazing places on Great Keppel Island in Australia. It was early in the morning. We had been driving up the east coast of Australia in a van. We had made it all the way up to a city called Roslyn. That's where the boats go from out to the famous Keppel Island. It was a beautiful morning and we were getting ready to drive to the Keppel Bay Marina. We were ready for another incredible day in Australia. This is the Keppel Bay Marina and this is where you have to go if you want to go out to the Keppel Island. A day trip out to the Keppel Island would cost about $45. We are on the way. It's a 45 minute boat ride. The water close to land is a little bit murky, but when you come into the Keppel Island, you will have an amazing blue color. The Great Keppel Island is the largest island out of 18 islands located outside the coast of the city Yepon in the state of Queensland in the northeast part of Australia. We got into land and started our hike around the island. We were walking on Fisherman's Beach and heading down to the south part of the island in Monkey Beach. At the end of Fisherman's Beach you will get into a hiking trail that takes you to the next beach. This is one of the hiking trail that takes you around the island. Coming up is a small beach called Shelving Beach. On the hike you will most likely see some lizards and other animals. Just around the corner from Fisherman's Beach, Putney Beach, we have Shelving Beach. This beach is a smaller beach where you can do some snorkeling and you will most likely have the beach all to yourself. The hike down to this island is a little bit harder and perhaps that's why you don't see any people there. The day temperature never goes below 20 degrees Celsius at any time of the year at Keppel Island. We were hanging out on this beach for a while, doing some snorkeling and enjoying our privacy. Another hiking trail around the corner takes you to the Monkey Beach. This is the way to the Monkey Beach through the forest. I don't recommend doing this hike if you have flip-flops. You should have proper walking shoes. Another 20 minute hike through the forest would take us to another empty beach. Here we have the Monkey Beach. It takes about 35 minutes to walk here from where the boats come in. It's a very secluded beach. You don't see as many people. We really enjoyed having this place to ourselves. We didn't see any people. The, the thunderstorm is on its way. Great. I like thunder. Thunder. It started raining. It's too bad. The weather changes really quickly here. The sun came out again and we were now on the most famous beach on the island. Long Beach. It stretches for two kilometers along the ocean and the sand is really soft. We got off the beach and were about to start a new hike to the other side of the island, through the forest and up in the mountains. Now it's hot again, no more thunderstorm. It took us another 40 minutes to get up to the top of the island. We have been walking for another couple of kilometers and now we are back down to the beach. We are here, another incredible beach here on this island. We decided to go swimming again in the amazing water since we had this place all to ourselves. We have been walking for a couple of hours now. 
Now we were at the end of Long Beach. We are on our way back to the main beach to get something to eat. It had been a really great day at the Great Keppel Island. We hadn't seen almost any people even though we had been to about six beaches. But it took six hours. Now we have a reward after a six hour hike. We got onto the boat and started heading back into land after an incredible day. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the icon in the down left corner. Thank you for watching.